Hey guys, it's Kara here. I just got home from working out and I'm gonna make some dinner now and it's gonna be a spicy chicken. Uh, so if you're in the mood for something like Chinese food, this is a clean substitute for you. So for the ingredients, you're gonna need some lean chicken breast, which I've already got portioned out here in my bowl, four ounces. We're gonna use some Bragg's liquid aminos. If you haven't used this, it's similar to soy sauce, but a healthier, healthier alternative. It doesn't have any of that added salt in it or the added preservatives that you might find in a soy sauce. So all the sodium in it is naturally occurring. So it still does have that salty flavor. We're also gonna use some hot sauce for it. And for seasonings, I'm gonna use some onion and herb Mrs. Dash and some Southwest Chipotle Mrs. Dash. And as kind of a little extra, I like adding in these toasted sesame seeds too. So those are gonna be all our ingredients we're gonna use. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, before you start with any of that, is heat up your pan. Um, I've got it going on like a medium heat with some Pam spray in there so it's nice and hot. It's steaming right now. So the, what we're gonna to do to get this ready, I've got my chicken already in here. I did already pour some of the sauces on there. But I'll pour a little more on. A little bit of the Bragg's, a little bit of the hot sauce. There's a lot of the Bragg's, depending on how much you like. I'm just going to shake this up. Kind of trial and error again with how much of the liquids you want on there, how strong you want it to be. All right, so we've got our chicken in there. Now I'm just going to shake a bunch of our Mrs. Dash on there. Don't be afraid to go heavy on this. Adding a lot of these seasonings on it adds a nice crusty, almost like a mock bread coating to the chicken. So I've added a bunch of that in there and I'm gonna shake it up again. Just shake it real good just to kinda of get it spread evenly over the chicken. We'll definitely add some more on there. It's kind of turning into a little ball now. You can see we've got our chicken. Kind of is almost starting to look like a, something you'd get at a Chinese restaurant. I might just add a little more, little more seasonings on it. And then we're ready to throw it in the pan. All right, that looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna add this to our pan. You're gonna hear it sizzle because I've got the pan nice and hot. You may wanna open a window or have a fan on while you do this just because it does get real, real smoky. All right, so I've got my four ounces of chicken on the pan. I'm gonna just let it cook for a few minutes flip it over and just keep cooking it. I like to cook it till it gets nice and dark brown. So we'll see you with the end results. All right guys, we've got our finished product now, the spicy Chinese chicken. Probably only took a total of five minutes or so on the stove top. So this recipe is real quick. Only takes about 10 minutes. You can see it looks almost burnt. It doesn't taste burnt though. It adds a really nice flavor to it. Gives it a little bit of crispiness and I added some more of those sesame seeds on top. And I like to eat this with the Walden's Farm Caesar dressing. It's a calorie-free dressing. Um, does have a lot of ingredients to it, but it is a low-cal dressing. You, I get it at Wegmans, but you can also get it online on nutrition.com and order those from there. They have a bunch of different flavors. So I also like eating my chicken this way because four ounces goes a long way when you cut it up in little smaller pieces. And I like quantity, so I like feeling like I'm eating more than what I really am. So if you're similar to me, this might help you out too, instead of just eating one four ounce piece of chicken. Um, so if you check out this recipe and like it, uh, let me know what you think of it. I'd appreciate it if you guys like this video to give it a thumbs up and like it. And keep checking back to follow my progress and for more motivational tips.